What is going on everybody? I hope everybody's enjoying their week. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification. And I want to welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Black Capino the Apple Guy, and my channel specializes in tech tutorials, unboxings, and a little bit of vlogging. And today I thought I would make another video. This one's gonna be a little bit different than the previous videos that I had made before. This is basically how to check your iTunes balance and ad funds. Now this one's gonna be a little bit different than my previous videos as I believe Apple has removed the iTunes pass from Apple's I Apple wallet. Now I'm not exactly sure if this is just something temporary that they did, but I have been getting a lot of people who've been putting uh, comments in my videos saying that their passes are expired and that um, they can't add money or doesn't show money to it. So I'm gonna show you a way of checking the balance on your iTunes account and how to add funds as well. I'm not really sure why the iTunes passes are specifically the iTunes Pass Apple Wallet itself is expiring. So for those of you that aren't familiar with what that means or what iTunes Pass is, what Apple Wallet is, is basically Apple Wallet is a place where you can add your digital cards such as your debit cards, credit cards, gift cards, rewards cards, and you can use those. They can be scanned at merchant stores, third party vendors. So I'm just gonna kind of go briefly into what I mean. So this is my iTunes, or this is my Apple wallet. So as you can see here, I have cards for Starbucks. I have my health, um, my um, airlines rewards, my American Eagle, my, you know, a few other rewards, my Krispy Kremes and all that. And then I have my debit card and credit cards and other um, digital currencies that I have on the top portion. So normally on the bottom here, there is usually something that says iTunes Pass. And basically what that means is that anytime you wish to add money to your account or if you want to buy something from the Apple Store or the iTunes Store, you would simply use the funds that were allocated to that to be able to purchase anything that you wanted from said stores. So for some reason or another, I'm not exactly sure why Apple has expired these. It is hard to get them back. I don't know why. Did a little bit of research and I can't really find anything other than the grant that I just know that they've it's expired and you can't add it to your Apple wallet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to check the balance on your iTunes account and how to add funds directly from the iTunes app store itself. So as you can see from here, this is my app store and it's my iTunes store. So we're gonna go into the app store. And as you can see here, obviously if you're familiar with the app store, this is basically what it looks like. You're gonna tap on the corner, right hand corner. Now whether you have a picture of yourself or your letter of your name, that's what you're gonna tap on. And then from here, it's gonna show you your name, email address, and under that it says credit, and then whatever amount of money you have there. So as you can see a little bit further down, it says redeem gift cards or codes, send gift cards to somebody, or add funds to Apple ID. Now, if you want to do it all from the phone without having to go to like a third party vendor, like say Walmart or Target or Walgreens or wherever, you can add funds directly to your iTunes account directly from in the app. That's where you hit the add funds to Apple ID. You simply just tap on that. And then from here, all you have to do is add the certain amount of denomination you want from this. Now, if none of these work, you can go a little bit different by tapping on the other and say you wanted to put $20 instead of, you know, 25, you would just tap 20, hit done, and then you would hit next. And then what would happen is that it would bring you up to adding the money or having the money taken from whatever set of uh, debit card or credit card that you have associated with your iTunes account. Now that is pretty much all you have to do when it comes to adding funds and to check the balance of your iTunes. And again, all you have to do is go into the App Store or iTunes Store. Uh, I'll show you how to do that from the iTunes Store as well. You simply just tap on this. And this is your iTunes Store. You simply will scroll all the way down to the very bottom where we say your Apple ID. Tap on that, view Apple ID. And then from there it will load up the same way as the other one did basically shows you the same thing add money to account gifts or reviews and ratings you want to add money to account you simply tap on that and then it brings you up to basically the same screen as before as you've seen and that is pretty much it 
So again, if this video was helpful in any way, please leave me a thumbs up as these likes do help me make better content. And I want to thank everybody for watching. And again, check out those other videos that I have explaining what iTunes Pass is and what iTunes is and how to use it. And I'll have links in the descriptions for those. And again, if you have iTunes Wallet or an Apple Wallet and it hasn't expired, those videos will kind of basically show you how to use that. But if it has expired and you remove them, you cannot add them back on again. I'm not sure if this is just something that Apple is just doing, you know, temporarily or if it's just, you know, something that they just decided not to do. But that is how you add funds to your account. And again, I want to thank everybody for watching my video. And my name is Black Opinion of the Apple Guy. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. And have a great week.